Hello. So today I'm drawing Mickey. I'm kind of having a little bad start with this drawing. So bear with me. So we're going to do its little... It's, we're going to do the face um, for Mickey. Mickey's face. So, of course. And this is the Valentine's Day Squish Mellow one that I'm showing how to draw today. Um, we're going to give him two lines. And... Big size nose and I'm actually go on going to give it a bigger A little bit of a bigger face and in here we're gonna give him a little nose or no an ear sorry we're gonna then come in with him and do the heart in the heart we're gonna give in here so we're gonna give him a little heart <laughs> And we're going to do one big line, gapping in like that. And then we're going to do And we're gonna, so that is Mickey. I'm sorry, I didn't do it really well explaining today. I'm sorry. Um. But I really hope you enjoyed today's duo. Um. And sometimes when I'm doing these doodles, talking is just a little, it's a little hard to multitask while you're talking, while you're drawing. And especially because, um, especially when you're drawing. So, um, I apologize. Um, but I am, I me, I'm doing better at it now, um with the multitasking um, part of it um, and I really enjoy doing it 
Um, I probably am going to be taking here a break soon. Mm, we're going to color it in. So the lines are not going to be straight and perfect. Um, but most of it is colored in... And then here's my least here part. Coming in and doing all this is like my least here part. So I'm just gonna get it over with. I love, I like this drawing, but yeah. I'm honestly, might after today, be taking a little break. Um, I don't wanna promise that. I do, but I do want to say um, that my energy is very low, so I could see myself um, doing this daily doodle um, or not even posting it today and just keeping this. Uh, but if I do post it, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, today's been a busy day and just kind of tiring, honestly. So, you know, so I'm kind of ready for tomorrow and then to be done. And then, you know, it, it, it was a, and the pain of having tomorrow when you wake up is feeling like it is Saturday. I'm feeling I'm gonna have that feeling. So yeah, I don't like that feeling. I don't like it. That is a no to me. But um and Monday is gonna be a very interesting day for me with my um something differently happening on Monday. So I don't know, you know, um it's, it's something really that big. It's just, um, the, but, uh, I might be taking a break here soon. Just, uh, you know, get my art to mine. I'm so sorry. This table is very shaky and it, you know, when you're erasing, it adds a lot of shake and I'm honestly might take down. I have some decorations like up here, I might just take it down because it's frustrating me. It's making me mad. So, <laughs> and my hand feels, ugh. I don't know, my hand feels like it's just going to give up today. It's, it feels like it's going to give up while I'm doing this doodle. So, um, it's nice. It, it's not nice when you're drawing and your hand feels like it wants to just give up just wants to fall off the floor so yeah but yeah happy February 1st um I hope this is a good month and I hope it's a good month for everyone else watching too um last month was good but there was also some challenges it was mainly not that bad mainly like good but um and today felt good um too so it felt better than what yesterday was um yesterday was kind of a bad day for me <laughs> i think yesterday was kind of a bad day in general for me um but you know we have the bad days and just know when you're feeling sad um especially me uh with like in inside out i i think sometimes of when riley is sad in that show and when she's sad and that and then you know she's happy because sadness joy and all of her feelings that she has um the feelings that she has you know 
um, our feelings that, you know, the feelings in the past. Um, and yeah, I think that's why I really like Inside Out because it's not, it's more of a show, but it's also like a little, it's a Disney show, but it's also a little bit of reality, but in a much good way. Um, not in a dark, like not in a, uh, too much way. It's like they, they did just enough and I feel like they're going to do just enough stuff for just enough that needs to be for the sequel too. I, I don't want this being like, I hope the sequel is not like an overflowing thing because the first one was not overflowing, but I'm sure the animation, um, will be, uh, it'll be a change for, it'll be a, it'll be it'll be good i know the sequel animation is usually really good um so and it, it's actually kind of nice when they're the sequel animation um like in their shows like wreck it ralph incredibles you know it's an it's an updation like it's an update to what you're used to and that's uh, nice that shows you know and that's why it's probably a little bit more pricier um it, it almost feels like it's fresh and back seeing pictures from original disney movies they don't feel very fresh because they were made like what i mean by fresh like they don't the animation feels outdated even for that time frame and that's how i feel when I'm looking at images of Incredibles 2 or clips or scenes, um, I've seen Incredibles 1. Um, it just feels like old now and it, it doesn't feel like something for this time frame. So you can see how things are changing. And um, it, you can see how the feelings are the changings of animation um even even now even now with some films from like the early 2000s there's definitely a change from them from now um yeah and i'm really also excited for the new elo movie too i was just thinking about like um drawings and like stuff for that but i know that comes out next year I would be thinking about that actually this year, but it's a little sad because actually, if you think about it, March of this year would have been it. It would have come out, um, but it's not. It's not, not coming out this year um, due to the. Um, I think they wanted Inside Out to be like a hit. And then I think they're obviously going to have the ELO advertisement in for the trailer. And as much as I'm sure Inside Out is going to have, that's going to have a good impact. Because, you know, it's going to probably make a billion dollars. So I think they want the same for their film ELO. Because Disney needs to make some money. At least if they, I don't think it would be a billion dollar film. Inside Out, yeah, I think that would be a billion dollar film. But... Pixar's had some bots before, so um, it's, I'm feeling a little nervous for that brand. I'm honestly feeling a little nervous, and it got a debut big. It got a debut big. Like, it has to be a big... Never mind. Sorry. I think someone was having a fire alarm. Because I could hear it from outside. <laughs> so sorry for that. Um...
but sorry i thought our house fire alarm was going off and that's that's a nervousness feeling for sure but no our house there's no fire alarm um sorry i was screaming my mom's name i'm sure you probably hear our sink was like we had a little link a week in our sink um in this definitely not in our house because no one's leaving so I don't like fire alarm I don't but um yeah but I really hope you enjoyed today's daily doodle <laughs> but yeah so yeah i'm really excited for this year there's not a whole lot of movie coming movies coming out but um sometimes it's not okay for the winter i feel like but there is a disney movie coming out next well yeah because they move the date for elo for march and i feel like it's gonna have a big impact with inside out um i was hoping that would be like the way because elemental i guess the wish trailer wasn't that big but the elo trailer was big for elemental too so um it was probably yeah um so yeah it's only Honestly, I could see them coming out with a, um, like a sequel in that year too, um, but they're not. But yeah, next year in March, there's going to be the ELO 2, um, no, not ELO 1, um, but ELO. There has not been a sequel. I don't know why I'm even doing that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be, yeah, and then I think 2026 is going to be our first the first year coming back to two disney films um i honestly think they want like a hit in the box office and something they can make money on um i don't think they want continuously flops so that's something nice because i feel like that's something that is nice because the company is actually caring now the only bummer is we don't we I see more trailers for DreamWorks shows or hearing more things about DreamWorks shows and not um Disney. Um but you know, Disney, Disney, Disney will be even popular than DreamWorks. I know. Because their stories still seem to be interesting and good and amazing, but um really excited for the sequel it's obviously not gonna be as amazing as the first one it's probably gonna be i could see it being like an 8 out of 10 i could also see it being a really big hit but i could also see it not being i would see it make this you know and it would be good for the brand if it made the same too it doesn't have to debut with um a nine million, but it's also it doesn't have to debut with a uh, billion dollars. It can also debut with like nine hundred million, but it's gonna debut with a lot, and I know it's gonna be pretty popular. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. But yeah, thank you for watching today's daily doodle. It was fun, but I'm honestly tired. <gasps> I'm oh I'm sorry that slipped out that little. Ugh. slipped out um but yeah i will be posting more daily doodles soon i might be taking a little break here and there but you know if you want good drawing tutorials um not ones where i'm screwing up um 
than I would suggest, but it's okay. Because that's not going to sleep my life. It's not. Yeah. So, yeah. I really hope you enjoy today's Daily Doodle. And I will see you tomorrow for the next Daily Doodle. Um, If there is, if I do draw tomorrow, I, I honestly see myself taking another break. But who knows? Let's just hope for tomorrow and go from there. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.